Thong Suluk in blue from Thailand and Nasra Zadani of Iran is in red. They were announced here to be switched colors, but the Thai players obviously in blue and the Iranians in red. The Iranians number one, ranked number one in the world. The Thai players number eight in the world. Thai player won the last two Universiades, which is a, I believe it's a multi-sport college age games, like an Olympic games. Yes, Iran is blue and Thai it's red. So they're going to make them switch. Yeah. Good. The coach, they have to change as well. They just realized. Yeah. <laughs> Because the board is electronic and the information is already in the computer. Yes. A lot of the software and electronic systems here at the World Championships are are, are being tested and, and reviewed uh, to get ready for London Olympic Games. The Chinese head of team, please come to the competition operations desk. So Nazra Zadani of Iran will be in blue and Thong Sulup will be in red. It's very good to see that the guy changed the protection. It means it's not the protection, it's only, you see, it's very fair, that means. Yes. Lightweight final. I believe they've they've fought before at University Odd. In 2007 at the Universiade, Thong Saloup uh, beat this young man. The referee gave two, one Congo to each player to push them to fight uh, more. What do you what do you think of that call? You think you think he should give both the Congo or uh, oh, the Congo? It's good. It's good because. Uh, wow. It's good because uh, after uh, during the second or third match, he can make the difference. So 
We are here to fight. They're doing that now. Nasser Zadaneh has a 3-1 lead. Going a, scoring a head kick on Thong Sulub's uh, round kick attack. So what do you think is in, in, in the future for, for the sport of Taekwondo? Um, about me or about the Taekwondo in general? Taekwondo, sir. So. Um, the Taekwondo, it's, uh, it's, be it's became more and more uh, beautiful to watch because uh, now all the athletes do fantastic high kick and spring kick, whatever. We're still in the Olympics. I don't know why I say still. We are Olympics, so we've got a lot of uh, media who's uh, in the uh, interest in, uh, in our disciplines. We've got big champions and big names like Steven Lopez, like ID, but he, I think his tech is, uh, is uh, retired. But we've got big, 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 big and talented player like uh, Servet we saw yesterday. Yes. And Taekwondo is going to be more and more broadcast, I, I, I hope. Iranian athletes got a quick go. Front leg axe kick or drop kick. Referee's going to take that point off. Give a warning, which moves the point over to Thongsalut, so it's three to two. The coach from uh, Iran told him to push him uh, outside to give him the Congo. You speak Iranian? No, but I understand what he said. <laughs> that undercut round kick scored for the two. Didn't confirm on that head kick. Yeah. The Iranian is very good. Very good. He used all the opportunity to score. All. Very good match. And the tie is very good, huh? Yes. Yes. So, uh, do you see anything happening at this World Championships that. Uh, I, I, what, do you, what do you think about. Um, any any trend happening here or uh, um, I was very uh, surprised the first day when I'm arrived because I, I'm living in, Ch in China so it's only two hours from here when I'm arrived I saw the semi-final uh, in 58 kilograms the guy from Portugal was fighting against the guy from Dominican yes the, uh, Dominic, Dominic uh, Republic and the guy from Portugal was leading and the, the, the guy from the, other, the opponent tried to, 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 to fight and the guy was running, running, but running like, like Usain Bolt. And I said, oh, it's a shame for the, for the discipline, like the, the, the players 
the fighter is supposed to be fighters running like that. So, so I was a little bit, a little bit upset. But days after days, I think the the, 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 the show is improving and much easy to watch. Wow, that's a good kick. Very powerful, yes. He might be frustrating the tie right now. Yes, it is. Seems like everything the tie player does, the Iranian scores. The Iranian is not a, a beginner. You see? You see? Yes. Every situation. He try to use it. Focusing the pogo. Look his eyes on the pogo. Boom. He's playing. He's playing. Boom. One more. Just control the match. Avoid the attack. And try to score. Difficult for the tie now. Yes. Yeah. The Iranian show is superiority. That's worth a try. I think he didn't uh, punch him at the head. I agree with you. Yeah, yeah. I agree with you. Yeah. I think you got him in the chest. Yeah. But it's worth a try. Yeah. Well, the 2011 world champion is Alaritza Masrazadane of Iran over Padewat Thong Saluk. Show of sportsmanship. Well, Pascal, yeah. I want to thank you. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. A real pleasure to see that uh, beautiful match, this finals, and a pleasure to be with you uh, in live. <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you. Very you. Much. It was my thank honor you. and my pleasure to have you here. Thank you. Yes, sir. Right. Okay. There's the celebration from the Iranian player, Alarisa Masrazadane, or Masrazadani, uh, who beat uh, Padiwat Thangsuluk of Thailand in the male lightweight final. So upcoming, we've got the awarding ceremony. We were lucky enough to have Pascal Gentil uh, with us here. One of the Living Legends series of interviews and guest commentaries. Uh, just for a review on day two, 